This is uh, Philip with the last Lego update from the test machine number two. Yes, I said last. This is uh, sadly, um, this machine, the, the design of this machine is not going to work. It's uh, basically killing DC motors faster than I can replace them. And uh, quite frankly, <laughs> I don't want this to, uh, to cost a, a fortune. So uh, I'm going to have to stop and... Um, and build something else and uh, so what's going on is that uh, the DC motors uh, the way I'm I'm trying to stop them when they're in their movement is that uh, when they hit uh, like an extreme like if it goes all the way to the top here I was reading to see if the uh, the engine was uh, kind of straining and then I would kill the power and apparently this is not working it's not fast enough and the the, the gearbox is straining too much and uh, so it, it, it start grinding the gears and this one I don't know, you probably can't hear it, but it uh, basically it goes like, tac, 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 you know. So, uh, that's kind of sad. <laughs> it sucks a bit, but you know, I'll, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dismantle this, but, and I have uh, two plans, so uh, no, no despair, you know, it's just a bit uh, annoying, but... Um, you know that's the life of a uh, an artist wannabe engineer <laughs> i guess so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna build uh i'm gonna approach it in two ways i'm gonna approach it with a uh, stepper motors so it's gonna resemble uh, my first machine where i knew exactly where the motors were at uh, at any given time uh, without having to to build like some big stoppers like that and um, so that's gonna be one design and the other one's going to still use a DC motor, but it's going to use it in a continuous fashion. And uh, that one, uh, I just started thinking about it, and uh, it's not completely uh, designed yet. So um, this one, what did it do? Basically, it did one full test and about maybe a third or a quarter. I will I'll, uh, we'll never know. <laughs> the full test was done with this, uh, this uh, pair of Lego here. And this one was one of uh, my Lego, uh, my Lego bricks. And um, just a second. Okay, so it went to 32,066 iteration. So this one is basically, they're, they're, they're dead. They can't really stay together on one side. On, and if I flip them, they kind of stay together. And uh, what's on the machine right now is from uh, Sylvain Desrosiers, uh, which is a nice gentleman from the Montreal uh, region. And he sent me uh, a bunch of uh, bricks of uh, all different ages. And, uh, and this is one, uh, this is one, uh, this, is, this pair of Lego here is one of his. And it's about that 10, 12,000. I'm going to go retrieve the exact number uh, from the EEPROM in the Arduino. So, um, and that, that's about that. And uh, I can show you uh, what I have right now for uh, how I organized my, uh, my bricks so that I can keep track of things uh, as the tests will continue eventually with new machines. This is uh, what I have right now. And um, as you can see, uh, I put everything in some kind of a little order here, but um, it was a bit of a mess before, and what happened is a gentleman uh, called Sylvain Desrosiers, who owns a BrickLink uh, online uh, Lego store, sent me a bunch of Lego bricks from different eras. So uh, what he did is he took the time to separate them and kind of give me hints of you know why they're separated. Like these here are uh, very old patent pending uh, ABS bricks. Actually, it's the first generation of of this uh, the modern Lego brick that we uh, we all recognize. And uh, from that, what I did is I um, I started looking at the bricks from a uh, closer perspective, and uh, I created six categories uh, of uh, types or evolution of the brick over the year. And so this is the oldest one and it goes like that. And here I have the modern ones which are, which are separated because uh, Sylvain was uh, kind enough to send me not only uh, modern ones that are uh, used, which is uh, this year, but also uh, brand new ones that have never been touched by human hands, <laughs> except maybe his. So um, I'll test those, you know, compared to, uh, you know, slightly used one. 
And uh, I'll also keep in here uh, the ones that I'm using for testing my machines and the ones that have been tested like this one here. And then also somewhere else I have the pair of bricks from the first ever test with the machine, uh, the first machine. Uh, also, uh, Sylvain was, uh, you know, kind to send some uh, uh, mega block bricks, which is uh, uh, like the, he who shall not be named. And uh, the cool thing is, uh, whenever I get a machine that works long enough that I can do all those tests, I'll test those too, and we'll see uh, if they can uh, last as long as Lego can. So uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll come back to you with more updates. Bye.